What is it? Well, that is an RX350 tow hitch. And I'm about to install it on my 2018 RX350. Thanks for watching How to Heaven. Stay tuned. Time for an unboxing. So, this is a tow hitch for an RX 350, rated at 4,500 pounds, and you can see all the different manufacturers, or the, all the names, brand names, that this is sold under. So, Reese, Tow Ready, Fulton, Pro Series, Draw Tight, Bargman, I can't even read that one, um, West Bar, Bulldog, and Texan Shaw, I think. Tecun Shaw. Huh. And Rola. So Rola is the one with a dent in it. And Tecun Shaw is on the bottom. So let's open this guy. Let me get you in closer. All right. Paper. Lots of it. And that's because everybody knows that paper is stronger than steel. So this baby here won't get damaged if you put paper around it. Because we all know that. What a packing job. No cardboard, just paper. So, honestly don't think they care. And who would care about damage? This thing is solid steel. It's got the bolts right here. Got these little protectors. Protect the finish. And let's see, uh, let's go see how this thing is gonna fit. Oh, you weren't even watching, were you? Shame on you. All right, here we go. So, there is the tow hitch. And again, it was in this box of paper. So you got these little things here, and uh, they protect your bar. You got your two-inch receiver right here. Your brackets, four bolts. Hardware's in there. <laughs> no, you don't. All right, let's do a test fit. So we're gonna take off this transport hook and probably not reuse it. So this hitch only has two mounting bolts on each side, and then this part will hang below. It's a pretty simple install, and uh, I'm gonna get some tools. Unfortunately, I don't have help, so I'm probably gonna use my floor jack to lift it up. But first, we take the plastic plugs off, and then we will take off the transport hook, and then we should be ready to mount it up. So, let's see what we got. Funky muffler design. You can see the pipe comes here, perforates all the way through the muffler. Look at that baby. And I guess there's holes in there, and then a little goes to the left, a little goes to the right. And that's the Lexus RX350 exhaust system. See the sway bar, the coil springs, rear camber adjustments, lower control arms. All right, looks nice and clean under here. My 2018 RX350. Let's go to work. Okay, I got you a view from the bottom. Socket's a little long. Actually, the extension on the socket's a little long. But uh, should be able to put that in there. Once 
One down, one to go. I'll be swapping this socket out or extension out before I uh, put the uh, tow hitch in. But you can see, sorry about the shake because you are on the camera and this extension is way too long for the job. But hey, it did the job. All right. So let's take these bolts off. So I will be using those and if all goes well, I'm going to try to hook, put the tow hook back on. All right, one side is ready. And now to the other side. So you're on the other side, driver's side. We've got these little plastic caps. Let's back them out. They're not really threaded a whole lot. They're effective. Kind of a minimalist design. This is what they look like. Whoops, one down, one to go. There you go. That is what they look like. And they go in those threaded, they keep them clean, so. Okay. So some of you sharp-eyed viewers probably saw my floor jack. That would be my helper. Let's take this off. 675 pound tongue weight and 4,500 pound um, trailer max towing weight video buffer. So, let's put this, it's really not too heavy, it's more a balancing act. So just line up your frame rails and you should be good to go. The uh, Toyota hardware, right here, if it's got to hold this on and that's it, it's probably not rated the same. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Reese parts that came with it. And we'll just open the bag and let's see what we got here. For hardware. These are the instructions and um, I'm going to put them in a safe place for now. Here's your bolts. Make sure the washers, when you're doing the washers, you'll notice that there's a some little nubs right there and this is a concave washer. So the way it goes on is like that and those nubs grab into the frame rails or the uh, Pitch itself. So there we have it. Now, I'm not sure why they gave me these or these because I don't really have anything. I don't have the bolts to go to that. Certainly don't know where these go. And that's where this baby comes in handy. So let's just take a quick look, see. Let's see, consumer something or other, yellow, information to customer, blah, blah, blah. This is probably about hooking up a trailer. It is, it shows how you measure tongue weight, you balance your trailer. All right, good to know. Maybe something for the glove box, but not for the installation. Here we go. 
I see the four bolts and it looks like the nuts go over here as an existing bracket. Of course that happens to be the version that I can't read. There we go. There are a lot of versions here. And let's see, limited lifetime warranty. That's good to know. Let's go over here. Okay. Exhaust hanger, existing bolts, they go through over here, the bracket. I'm not actually sure why they want you to use the exhaust hanger bro uh, bracket bolts, but uh, maybe it's an interference thing. Hmm. Well, we're going to find out. So there's our bolts and our bracket. And they do line up. So let's see if we can't get a single bolt started. Just one. Apparently, I need to move. So that would be one. And this one also lines up. However, I'm going to try using the toe bracket. And by toe bracket, I mean tie down. Because we have plenty of threads left over. So why not try to retain the factory tie down since I'm here and I got too many bolts in my hand. So here you can see my helper, just a floor jack right there. All right, so you can see what I'm doing. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jack up the hitch because I've got one side up. The other side is a little far off. See if I didn't go too, too high. I ought to be able to and tighten these. They leave oval slots here so there's plenty of room to make your alignment work. <laughs> and come back with the ratchet. And I won't bore you with a ratchet because I know you've seen one work before. So whenever you're torquing bolts you want to make sure you go evenly on both sides so you don't make it cockeyed like a drawer. And that's what I did. I got one side, then switch to the other side. And we're going to go back to the instructions and look for the torque ratings or the torque specs because. They're gonna have some. I just know it. Reese is a pretty professional company. And they wouldn't leave you hanging without torque specs. So let's see what we got. Here's the other side. All right, so Reese says 76 foot pounds. So that's what we're going to do. 76 foot pounds as soon as I get my torque wrench set up. And as far as that other exhaust hanger bracket, that's for the RX350L or H, neither of which is this. So we don't need those extra parts. All right, now that we have our torque wrench set to 76 foot pounds we are simply going to torque each bolt. Quite a bit.
pretty definitive there. Slow and steady. If you ever see anyone yanking on a torque wrench, they're doing it wrong. Two down, let's go to the other side. Passenger side. Same as the driver's side. 76 foot-pounds. Now when torquing, you just want to get that steady movement. Don't ever rock on it. Getting close. I can feel it. There she blows. Or is it there she blows? Whatever that means. They must have been talking about a whale. Not sure what else you'd find in the ocean that would fit that description. I like to pull on my torque wrenches when I'm tightening. It's easier. There we go. All four set to 76 foot-pounds. Let me show you what we got. It's kind of fancy camera angles. There you go. And just so we don't look like a rookie. There we go. Sweet. We can also lower the jack that was doing nothing more than holding it up. Now, Lexus wanted somewhere between 1200 and 1600 to install one of these. This RX350 was ordered with the tow option which included the heavy duty, and I'll show it to you, oil cooler and transmission cooler. And they're mounted in there. You can barely see a little bit of aluminum in there. And those are the coolers. So, this should tow just fine. So here's a quick tech tip. Whenever you're using your torque wrench, there's a screw right there and once you get your torque setting set, you're supposed to tighten that so that when you're moving your hands and your handle, you don't change your torque setting. Always zero out your torque wrench. And you don't have to go too loose, but just take it to the bottom there. And on this one, it's 10 pounds. So we, I always put my torque wrench at the very minimum, tighten this, relieving the spring pressure in here, keeping your torque wrench accurate longer. Okay, so I was telling you that this RX350 came with the tow option, and I don't know if you can see it back there, but there is a plug, a harness that comes down from here, and it goes way in over here, and it's got a little cap on it. And so that's the final piece of the puzzle, which is the wiring. And for $14.63 on Amazon, you get the accompany, accompanying plug. Part number 56083. And uh, so this was 131 and change, and this was 14 and change. And uh, you just plug it in. So here I am on the ground, unpacking, unboxing. Comes with a nice little rubber band. And that is free. You can use that later in a thousand different ways. Here is the plug. So this plug plugs into the factory port, and this will plug into your trailer, and this protects it from the weather. So it slips over the end. Anyway, um, there is one other piece that I think I'll buy, and that's kind of a universal wire holder. You can stick it right here on your, your hitch, and then it holds your four-prong wire. So I thought it was going to be easy to plug this in and it's probably harder to plug this in or it has been for me than the entire install and I'm going to explain why. 
So it's going to be a little difficult here for me to get the appropriate angle, but if you look, you can see the plug right there. It's, where's my finger? Right there. And it's got a cap on it from the factory because Lexus doesn't know when or if you're even going to install a tow hitch. So, I'm going to show you some stuff. And this little plug is snapped in right here. And you're going to take a pair of pliers, they're barbs. See the barbs right here, the top and the bottom? And you're going to squeeze and push this out. If it's anything like mine, it's so difficult to get in here. And then this cap is held in place. Now the cap looks pretty easy to remove. You push down on this tab and pull, just like all the other Lexus connectors. And then it slides right out. The only problem is, there was a pebble right in between here and this gray plastic piece that was preventing me from pushing this down and releasing releasing the barb on this. And it has been a royal pain. So I've used three different screwdrivers, but the one that worked was this tiny little jeweler screwdriver. And I don't even know if you're gonna be able to focus on that. But this tiny little jeweler screwdriver, I was able to get the pebble out. From here, it's one, two, three, snap it in place. And don't forget to snap this back in. But it's easier to snap it while you have it out. So that's what I'm gonna do. I am gonna snap that plug for the trailer four pin harness in right now. And I'm gonna just tuck this up under there and snap it in there and call it a day. Now, I have to put my videos out of order, thanks to that plug. And here, here's the other plug. And you can see again, it uses the same push to release and that pushes that little piece, but the pebble was underneath. Forgive the focus. So forgive the focus, but the pebble was underneath, preventing me from pushing this lever here on the cap, that protective cap. So if you have any difficulties, that's what you have to do. Other than that, this was a breeze, but that plug has taken me longer than the entire hitch install. Thanks for watching How To Heaven. I hope this helps somebody. Last tip, if you don't have one of these and you do anything with trailers, get one. It is really a nice little device that plugs right in to your four pin connectors. And it's got three lights here, left, right, and your tail lights. And as you turn them on, these come on. Great tester, get one. So, that's going to end the install. I basically plug this in, hide this away, and we're good to go. Now let me show you what it looks like. There it is installed. No trimming of the lower balance necessary. It's beautiful. Everything's hidden. It looks factory. Except for the Reese. The stickers upside down. Oh well, can't win them all. Beautiful. Highly recommend one of these if you've got an RX350 or an H or an L. It'll fit all of those. Thanks for watching How To Heaven. Stay tuned, more to come. Always. See ya.